And hello there everybody, welcome back my fellow gamers to Red Flood, you already know it, Hearts of Iron 4. Today we're going to Manchuria. Yeah right now we're not doing really good at all though. Half Manchuria is missing currently under the Russian Zhelterosia. Oh yeah we're also at war too, forgot to say that as well. But yeah we gotta try and destroy China in three months, which is not gonna happen. Like my goal is to just try and get to Beijing as fast as possible, which is actually surprisingly harder than you may think. Yeah, all of our infrastructure is dog shit trash. Three research slots, not bad. One military factory though, that's horrible. Absolutely disgusting. We're probably the most down bad nation in all of Asia, I'm not gonna lie. Looking at the top left of my screen and you may see this little eyeball. And if you don't know what that means, that means that I have gotten La Resistance, the DLC, thank god. Yeah, now I can use spies and create collaboration governments, isn't that cool? I got three months though until I gotta get to Beijing, hopefully we can do this. Come on, come on. Yes! There we go, we took Beijing. Now we just gotta hold it. There we go, very nice. Alright, TO. An uneasy piece, and I can continue my focus tree, thank god. Now since Japan failed in destroying China, they're gonna fall into a civil war, you know? There we go. Just as I was saying. But yeah, the Beiyang is also gonna collapse soon enough, just gotta wait. Just as I was saying. There they go, the Zhili clique and the Shanxi clique versus the Yellow Sand Society, and this guy. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Bandera, Ukraine, of course. Jesus Christ. Man, it's been a hot minute since I've played Red Flood, but it still seems to be the exact same. Okay, now it's, I think I have to wait for an event. Let's try out Welcome Home Brothers. Yes, and now we're Fengtian. Cool. Nice. Because if I did the other one, I would have joined Bei Yang, and that's not a... That's not... That's not a cool move. Alright, so now we're just gonna start continuing down to this national government thing where we get to attack China. This China. This, 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 and this China. The Marco Polo Bridge Incident. We're just LARPing. We're literally just a LARPing, bro. They're in a faction. Oh, they're the remaining Bay Yang guys. Yellow Sand is about to die, so I should probably try and rush down these guys as fast as possible. Just encircle Bao Ding, and we're gaming. Let's go. Let's continue trying to outplay them via encirclements. How are the losses? Pretty good. Pretty damn good. And I have the majority of the war participation. Very nice. I wish that China had more con- Actually, I wish that a lot of things had more content in this mod, but specifically China, because there's so many warlords that could have so much potential. Yeah, just like more content in general. That'd be cool. All right. That's Janan circled. Now all I get to do is destroy it. Let's see. Do I want to be a wholesome China? Fuck no. We're going for the old Marshall's model. We're going for the most authoritarian, the worst, objectively worst ending for China. I'm going to reunite China through force, not through bitching around. Ooh, we're gonna destroy Qingdao. I'm gonna do it. I swear to God I am. Are they getting desperate now? They're just attacking everywhere. Use the fast fuckers to try and get to Zuzhu and encircle these guys. Oh yeah, my capital's in Beijing now. Cool. Forgot to say that. Let's set up a front line. Try battle planning down south. Yeah, it's, it's Zhili is dead. Weird thing is that they don't control any of Zhili, I don't think. That's what my friend said, at least. There they go. Come on, almost there. Yes. Yay, let's go. Easy peasy. Right, yo, with all of that done with, now all I need to do is curb stomp this guy. I'm gonna cancel that and do the White Terror. Probably gonna be a purge. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, they're massive. Yeah, they're gonna prove... A very big enemy. Oh, Jesus, my Lord in Christ. Mein Kampf. Nice name, brother. It's like Mein Kampf. Mein, mein Kampf. It's like Chinese Mein Kampf. Oh my god, that is disgusting. I should shut the fuck up. Oh, speaking of Mein Kampf, it's fucking Hitler. Bye-bye. Feng... Feng Yuziang, a socialist. Ew. Yeah, so far the war is super easy, man. Holy shit, this is so easy. Because the divisions are shit, if you couldn't tell already. Alright, yeah, their army is just collapsing. I should stop toying with them and just do the final blow, I guess. Oh my god. 70,000 to 1,000. This is going great. Yep, this is what happens when you dare resist the great Zhang Zuolin and the Feng Tian government. And they are fucked. GG's. What the hell is... Brother. No. No, brother. No. Oh shit. No, you do not get to exist anymore in the Wee Highway. Sorry for doing some cheats there, guys, but that is just dumb that I missed that tiny fucking tile in the peace deal. 
and let's declare the national unity government. I will become the one and only China. Oh shit, I am now China, the Republic of China. I do of course on all of China, okay. And some parts of India. And Mongolia, but surprisingly nothing in Manchuria. And I have war goals, I have a fuck ton of war goals, okay. Let's put these war goals to good use and declare war on Nanjing. Nobody's in the capital, but it's encircled. You die now, bitch. You are bitch fucking, 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 fucking. Put it down to four speed, wait for these guys to get into position and attack. And destroy Hunan. This is going to be the ultimate Chinese sleeping plan. Are they in a faction? Yeah, the, the new revolutionary front and right Guomindang. That's just the knockoff Kuomintang, buddy. Okay, once I take Nanchang. And probably, probably Changde. Then they should capitulate, hopefully. There goes Nanchang. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, they're just collapsing right here. Very nice. Once I enter Guangzhou, they will be fucked, and I will win. Oh, never mind. Didn't matter. Motherfucker. I have cores and claims on Macau, but not the, the, the Shanghai or this area. What is this? Yeah, let's attack this guy in the meantime. Oh, nice. I didn't even pay attention to that front. Thank you very much. Fucking finally, dude. That took way too long to land in Taiwan. Let's declare on this guy. And just battle plan. Yeah, I can just battle plan as per usual. Alright, that just leaves Tibet and Xinjiang left to now. It's gonna be four speed and attack. How's the war participation? I am I have the most. And they've taken three hundred thousand losses. The Vietnamese or the Indochinese. Christ the Lord. Hanoi down, the rest of Vietnam to go. Dude, five hundred thousand losses to nine thousand people. Oh my fucking god. Like nobody's gonna be left in Vietnam. Yeehaw. That is into China dead, hopefully. Yes, it is. There we go. Alrighty. And I got the state of Indochina with a guy who's very traumatized as my puppet. I also got my cores back. Nice. Ooh. Core shelter is CO1. Got my Russian border. Zhang Zuolin will deal with these Tibetan uh, revolters, dissenters, whatever you want to call them. Almost there. Almost there, just gotta get to Bangkok, and hopefully that's it. Hello my puppets, Kingdom of Siam, and my fellow brother, Indochina. I wish I could make a faction, that'd be cool. China is now officially reunited, let's go. We're not done quite yet though, I gotta fight the Russians. Because they are, after all, oppressing our brothers in Mongolia, for, for some reason I have a core on. And our brothers in Manchuria, which is former Chinese clay. There goes Burma, and that is the southern front secure. All right, here we go. Time to destroy the Russians. Uh, Japanese expansionism in Asia. I don't know how I like it. Or, I don't know, man. It's not too cool. Uh, fuck you, Japan. Not becoming your puppet. Since I'm low, running low on storage, I'm going to have to like cut out a lot of parts. So, see you guys when something important happens. Oh, Japan declared war on me. That's not good. I'm slowly beating the Japanese back. They have made one landing right here in Qingdao. But they've really stalled out in Korea. And I'm slowly grinding them to a halt. As for the Russian front, uh, somehow they have supplies there. Uh, slowly edging my way to Moscow. Once I take it, they should end up dying, hopefully. Okay, the encirclement has been closed and is now da -da 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 dead. Japanese are at nearly a million losses and they've killed 300,000 of my boys. Doesn't matter though, because they're going to lose eventually. Ah, but it is. Oh, there goes a lot of the Japanese divisions. All right, let's see. So they're at 1.1 million losses right now. Let's see how much they have once I kill all of these guys. There we go. Dead, dead, dead. And that makes the losses... So that was like 200,000. I finally beat Russia. Oh my god. There we go. There is the screenshot-worthy thumbnail. China is now pretty much Eurasia. Let's go. Now just to kill Japan. Yeehaw. Oh, it's time, Japan. It is fucking time. And I have my first nuke. All right. <laughs> it replenishes every 10 days. Jesus Christ. What should I nuke first? I'm thinking Tokyo. And I have my first nuke. All right. <laughs> it replenishes every 10 days. Jesus Christ. What should I nuke first? I'm thinking Tokyo. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. Let's go for 
Hiroshima. Yep. Boom. Let's go for Nagasaki as well. Why not? Destroy the port. Boom. Ooh, there, there, good there. There goes that. I wonder how much is that going to drop their navy by, though. Not much, by the looks of it. That's okay, I'm also making uh, paratroopers, so hopefully they can actually do something. We'll see, though. And they're going in for another invasion, are they? Yes, they are. Alright, saying you know the drill. Alright, I got a paratrooper order set up and a bunch of nukes being stockpiled. Alright, and there we go. And let's nuke Hiroshima again. Nice. I'm gonna put it down to four speed because I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. Finally get to curbs on Japan, put them where they belong, the fucking dumpster. Alright, let's do a tactical nuke on Fukoku Kuoka. Yes, sir. Alright, I think I need a, uh, I need a tactical nuke. Now it's attack. Alright, and I'm gonna drop a tactical nuke on Kyoto. Damn, bro, that's crazy. I love nukes in this game, it's so much fun. Oh, I think I need a tactical nuke on this tile. <clears throat> bye bye, bitch. Yes, sir. Let's drop a nuke on Kofu. Boom. Let's drop a nuke on Yokohama. Kaboom. And the city, the capital of Japan, Tokyo, is about to fall. And guess what? It just has. There we go. Okay, let's drop a nuke on Fukuhama. Or Fukuoko. Fukuoko. Attack. Another nuke goes to Fukuoka. Or however you pronounce it. There we go. There we go. Finishing it off with 3 million Japanese losses and not even exceeding a million on my side. Finally. But that's gonna do for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this really long video. As formerly Mantetsu, now the Republic of China, pretty much Eurasia. That was fun up until the Japanese war, but it redeemed itself when I got to nuke the shit out of Japan. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one.